This video will show you how to customize gender, entity, or plurality options throughout your documents. Because you may want to choose multiple different gender options, including an entity or a plural, we allow you to customize these fully. I'll start by asking a question inside of my workflow. Here I've asked, what is the pronoun for the client? The variable name pronouns and four options, male, female, entity, and plural. Then I'll add an invisible logic block. As the name suggests, the logic here is invisible, which means whatever we're setting on this page is not going to be viewed by the end user. The pronouns in my document are not just going to be he, she, and it, but they could include himself, herself, him, her, he, she, and maybe even additional options. If we're using plural or entities, then we'll also include it and they. So what I've done is I've created the variables that I'm going to then insert into my document or throughout my workflow wherever I want these pronouns to be displayed. On the right hand side, I don't need to fill anything out for what it's equal to because we're going to set that up directly in Invisible Logic. So the next step is to toggle over to Invisible Logic where we're going to set up the values for each of these. So let's get started. I will say if pronouns is male, then he, she is going to be he. It's going to be equal to some text that says he. Him, her is going to be equal to some text that says him. And himself, herself is going to be equal to some text that says himself. Now I'll go ahead and add them for each of the different pronouns. And now, as you can see, I've entered all the different options for whether the pronoun is male, pronoun is female, the pronoun is an entity, and the pronoun is a plural. Now I'm going to set this all up inside of a very simple document. So let me go over to my document. And this document just has a single sentence. And there are two locations in which there could be a him, her, it, or a he, she, it. So what we'll do is we will drag our cursor over that section. We'll choose the appropriate pronoun selection and we'll click insert variable. We'll do the same thing with the he, she. And if we had multiple iterations of him, her throughout our document, we could actually do a find and replace inside of our original template with him, her, and replace that with the variable for him, her. That way it would save a lot of time in setting up our template and automatically replace every single iteration where these different variations of pronouns appeared. 